is a here is a part which is uh, which is annual uh, 1045 steel. What I'm doing, I'm doing, I'm finding its hardness test. Here, I need to put its head on this part. Now, we have to set it on this black point first. And also, we have to set this meter at zero. Now, we have to release the road first to measure its hardness. This is what I'm doing. We also have to know that how many times it rotates. As we can see, it rotates only one time. So it means, it, and then we have to release this load again. And this is what we get its hardness. It's it's 18 B, 18 C. Hello, my name is Daniel Azam, student number 991345615. Today we will be conducting a tensile test on the two 1045 steel samples on a UTS tensile tester. We are provided with two grips. This is grip number 13 with a rubber ring so that the lock doesn't slide down. This grip is placed on the top right there and is locked in position with the key. Repeat the same steps for the grip on the bottom and make sure it's in position and locked. Next, we open the instrument blue hill program and reset the gauge length and the balance load and hit start. Prior to this, we enter the diameter and the length, which we measured using the vernier caliper. Now, Keep a distance and wait for the sample to break. And sample. After the sample has broken, remove the sample pieces and repeat the same procedure for the other 1045 steel sample. Now here's a closer look at the broken samples. This is what it looks like. After completing the two test runs, push the print button and save the file as a PD file. Thank you. Hey, my name is Uday Pratap Singh and my ID number is 991348601. I'm going to work on the chopping machine to cut the heads of our sample. Firstly, we lock the head part on the left side, then the rest part on the right side. We have to be sure that the part is horizontally aligned and also get an idea that when the blade would come down, it would touch that point where we want it to be. After being sure that everything is fine, we close it. Also, while the machine is on, we, we, have no, we should not stand in front of it. It could be dangerous. Mm, we can see everything is fine, so we close it. Okay. Take this uh, after closing it. We take the stop off and for, for safety measures. When we leave it, we leave the stop on. Then press the green button and wait for the water to start running. This is for keeping the blade cool while cutting. We pull the lever uh, on the right side down slowly, and we can hear the screeching sound. When the sound stops, that means that uh, our part is done. We can hear the screeching sound. Yep. You can see our part is done. We turn the stop off. Open it. If we, uh, then we open it after a few seconds. If we can see that then the numbers on the blade, that means it has stopped. Firstly, we lock, uh, unlock the right side and then the left side. And while doing that on the left, we keep our finger on the sample that it would not fall. Sample so that it doesn't. Okay, we can. Hold on. We can uh, now. We are getting a sample. Sure this is a sample. So we now have. Uh, we can see that uh, uh, that is it is fine so finished and there. on its end, but the, the part is long than what we need. So we, we would example. repeat the whole thing again so to get a to get a good now. finish on our object on our sample. And we're do it again. Thanks. Again the same thing. The Microstar 2000 Hydro Press uses big light and either powder or free palm block along with heat and pressure to create a thermoset plastic puck suitable for grinding and polishing the small head of the steel sample. First turn on the faucet and attach the Microstar 2000. Unscrew the top of the hydro press. Press the up button to make the elevator come up from inside the opening. Place the face that will be grinded on the surface of the elevator. Press the down button to lower the elevator. Using a side six scoop, carefully place green Bakelite powder into the opening. Screw on the top, then loosen the thread just a little bit to prevent jamming due to heat and pressure. Press start button to begin the automatic program which has a heating and cooling profile for bake. The mounting process takes between 20 and 25 minutes. Once the cycle is finished and the pressure has been released, unscrew the top, raise the elevator and remove the puck.
The main differences between the MicroStar and Bueller mounting presses are that the MicroStar uses water to cool the part after setting the plastic. It has a digital readout and it is automated between setting and cooling functions. The part has already been mounted with a Bakelite puck. Here we are removing the heating element and replacing it with aluminum fins which assist in cooling the part. Set the timer to 10 minutes to cool. Remember to put the heating element back to its storage position. When cooling is finished, release the RAM control by putting it in the up position. Remove the puck from the post by tapping on the end of a table. The machine we used for this experiment was a Leco DS20 wet sanding unit. It was used to span small amounts of material off of whatever workpiece used for the experiment. For this experiment, we used four different strips of sanding paper. The strips had a grade of 400, 320, and 240 grade. The other dial on the front of the machine was used to increase flow of water. This was used to get rid of little bits of debris and anything else that would block or scratch the material. Remember to wear safety glasses while doing this because they need to be worn for all machines. We used a unijack pattern by going in one direction first and then changing the materials 90 degrees so that we can work perpendicular to the first direction that we worked in. Then we change it 45 degrees two more times to make sure that we work in as many directions as possible because when we work like this it gives the material a finer finish and it's easier to be read under the microscope. Something that we observed was that the oil quenched steel had a higher quality finish because Good images were produced under the microscope showing very fine shapes and distinct patterns which were easily observed and recorded in our lab report. Whereas water quenched steel had to be re-sanded because of the highs and lows making the Microsoft images blurry because the grinding was not as good because the material was had different properties than the oil quenched one. I am going to explain you about the polishing. Polishing is a process for smoothing the work surface using the rotating wheel. We have used a blue color rotating wheel which is rotating about 300 rpm. Polishing is very much essential in order to remove the surface irreg irregularities caused due to the scratches. To to view the microstructure clearly, we have polished the sample till its surface become mirror bright. Aluminum oxide liquid was used as an abrasive for polishing. While doing polishing, we should move the workpiece in opposite direction of the rotating wheel and we should also apply some gentle pressure and rotate the workpiece along with it. Polishing is followed by the etching process. Etching is a process in which we have kept our sample for etching with knit tile, 2% knit tile for 45 seconds and then we have washed it with distilled water. It's better to wrap it with a cotton cloth. This is Jiawei Huang and my student ID is 991339551. Here we use microscope to check microstructure. You can easily see the grain, si grain structure is much smaller than, than inside. The grain boundary from the edge is clearer than the inside. The inside grain boundary is diffusing. From microscope, we can see mountain side. The needle shape are mountain side. Here we can see the grain size are getting larger, so it's not easy to see the boundary and it's still at the modern side. It means outer 
edge is harder than inside, quench cause the outer edge cool faster than inside. You can see the difference between outer edge and the inside. There is no parallel in the Omar inside. You will save the picture. Here we are going to see a nearly 1045 steels. There are so many scratches, but we still can see the fair line and fair line. From the screen, we can see the green size in outer edge are smaller than the inside. White one is fair line and dark one is fair line. No more inside because no no shape. And you only need to take all the hardness out, so no more inside. Save the picture.